Governor Sarah Palin. Governor, is you amazed we're at the point now? By the way, welcome to the couch. Thank you so nice much. Nice to see you. Do you Thank like you the so couch? Much. I love the curvy couch. Right. You, guys, you guys make it nice. And this is the first time with Elizabeth, or have you been here yes, before? Yes, that's no, true. First time, yeah. Thank yeah. you. We were on a bus delicious. together in Kissimmee and Tampa years mm -hmm. back, but mm -hmm. this is the first you time on the curvy couch then. together. I know, man. Right? You know, with our homework and backpacks. A we're thrilled that you're here. Thank you. you know, we, we hear we hear the joke from Jay Leno, and he's been great, staying on point there. Um, and we hear the apology from the president. What did you think after they mm, kind of apology? Kind of grudgingly apologizing for a broken website, basically. The website isn't the problem. Nobody should give a flying flip about the website fixer-uppers that are coming in to save the day for Obama. That's not the problem. The problem is... The statism, this statism, this uh, collective socialized medicine program that we're being led into, that's what the problem is. And the numbers aren't good, right? They're, right. they're yeah. kind of sucking wind. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, how many billions of dollars will be spent on the failed rollout and the failed uh, uh, website. But again, more importantly, it's, it's the overall program that we're, that we're seeing coming but, from the White but House. Governor, you ran a state. And now a lot of Republican governors decide, I'm not setting up exchanges. Supreme right. Court said you didn't have to. Now there, a lot of Democrats are saying, well, if you guys set up the exchanges, didn't play politics, we wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, well, speaking of playing politics, it's so funny that a lot of those uh, Democrats who had been supporting Obamacare and even some Republicans who were kind of squishy on Obamacare, now they who are running for re-election in their states where a Republican governor isn't setting up an exchange, those Democrats are running for political cover. They're scurrying like a like rat Mary Landry would not appear with him. And Mark Begich in Alaska. And, and, you know, they have ads running in their home states saying, Hey, Obamacare's fine. You know, I'm going to sign up and we're going to, you know, it's going to be good for the country. But now, in fact, I've seen Fox News ding like Senator Mark Begich uh, with a walk and talk interview mm -hmm. asking him candidly, what do you think of it? And he's like, uh, uh, it's not so good, you know, and I'm chewing out the president every opportunity I have. It's like, no, you're a typical politician talking out of both sides of your mouth because you're running ads in your home state saying it's not so bad. Yeah, I chewed him out after I voted for it. Yeah, yeah, I was for it before I was against uh, it. And, uh, yeah, that's going around. What about the fact? Uh, that, you know, and on the channel we've talked about how it seems like we're becoming more and more of an entitlement nation. Oh, yeah. Right, right now, uh, something like 47 million, approaching 50 million Americans are right. on food stamps. That, that is a heartbreaking number. You know, some people go, well, there's probably some fraud in there. Maybe it's too easy to get. But a number like that uh, does not speak well for the country. No, and it, the deal is there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. So these the freebies that are being given, that are being the idea of them being sold by the Obama administration because food stamps have increased so greatly uh, since President Obama was elected. Uh, it's such a, a, a marketing tool. It is such um, a, a seductive lure into supporting a politician or a program if you think you're going to get something free out of people it. People love free stuff. And, and then they vote for those people. It, it's seductive. Sure. But again, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. Everybody learns that in Econ 101. What's free today? Where are we getting the money? We're taking it from our children, from our grandchildren. We're borrowing it from China. When the when it comes time to pay the piper, mm -hmm. uh, we're in a world of hurt. Sure. Maybe what you're saying, too, is that free doesn't mean freedom. Right. De yeah, right it means right, dependency. Right. And then um, we're sort of stuck in that situation. So what are Republicans supposed to do right now? Do they let's think about Obamacare um, entitlement nation. Are they supposed to let it let it just fail on its own? And then we want to get to some good news because your book, we love. That is good. Well, it, it is failing on its own, and more and more Americans are opening their eyes to that that failed state that is coming down the pike. Um, and it's it's a you know it's a huge agenda of uh, this entitlement mentality. It's an agenda of making people more and more beholden on government, so that government can have more control of over all of us individuals, our our businesses, our lives. Um, so that's a sad state of affairs. But uh, no, more and more people are opening their eyes to it. And but I tell you, if it were not for Fox News, how would people be opening their eyes to it? Because the lamestream media, the mainstream out there, they continue to go along with the deception for far too long. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about your book. What good into tidings. Coming, uh, Just oh, in time timing. for Christmas. Woohoo! Yes, it's jolly. Aww. It's it's really good. Yes. Sarah Pan, it's good tidings and great joy. First of all, a, a wonderful, wonderful tribute to what Christmas really is. Yeah. Um, stories 
recipe. Yeah. Um, I, love the, I love the way, in the very beginning, you talk about how growing up in Alaska, you never had to worry about a white Christmas. Right. Oh, yeah. No, it was never anything that we dreamed of. I mean, it, it was just there. Was. It was. Yeah. We're hoping we get a few snowflakes here, <laughs> then we'll be lucky about that. But what do you want people to, to know about the book? Well, there, there is an inherent link between faith and freedom. And if we are not allowed to exercise our experience, expression of faith, whatever that faith may be, then we will be a less, less free country. And much of this has to do with the, the ability, the right, the opportunities to celebrate the real reason uh, that we have Christmas. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the reason for the season. And those who are so politically correct who would say, ooh, you, gotta, you can't say that anymore. You're going to get sued. And uh, well, I'm empowering people to understand that no, we have our constitutionally protected rights sure. to stand up and, and celebrate the way that we deem. Well, and, and the great thing about the book is you talk about what it was like when you were growing up <laughs> as a child and, and your many uh, Christmases on your snow machines mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And this could be, folks, the only book you can buy this season where it has a recipe for Merry Christmas chili. Yeah, I never saw that on Moose Pinterest. chili. No, right. I have that. that. It's only it's like all that. your family right there. Moose isn't just yeah. for breakfast anymore. <laughs> um, but great. no, it's so throughout. It's not a political lecture in no. your face type no. of narrative. It, it, it talks about faith and freedom and what it means to be an American and exercise our faith at the same time, some quite festive little things. Added. All right, I got to ask you a tough hitting question. You can duck it if you want. Right. Real tree or artificial tree? Oh, it's got to be a real tree. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gotta, good. Do you cut it down yourself? <laughs> we used to, but the last couple of years we purchased, but uh, we used to get it off our own property. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Or the neighbors. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when it's dark. Yeah, the, right. the that's the good thing about living Thank on you. the tundra. Awesome. Uh, check out the new book. It is uh, Sarah Palin, Good Tidings and Great Joy, Protecting the Heart of Christmas. Governor, thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. You guys are great. Uh, hope I get you in the grab bag. Oh, that's <laughs> that's good. Be great. Right. You guys can do trade. It'll be great. Exactly <laughs> 20 minutes.